Every day, a task force of Denver police detectives and FBI agents meets to share and exchange information. Some of the newest leads came from yesterday. Did you happen to see anything unusual last Sunday? That's when some 350 motorists and others were stopped and questioned about what they may have seen in the area around United Bank the Sunday before. We are very careful that we're not going to be speaking about particular suspects or particular evidence. I can tell you right now, we are not commenting on the, the progress of the investigation. They're still not saying much, but we did confirm today the suspect did not use a silencer on the weapon used to kill the bank guards. Although witnesses in the bank said they never heard shots, police say the sounds were absorbed by the thick cement walls. Police and the FBI are quick to point out how well the two agencies are working together. However, there is dissension among the ranks about how each is doing its job. It's not unusual to see friction between local police and the FBI when they team up on an investigation. But in this case, the friction may be heating up because after eight days, they still haven't come up with a suspect. I think we are sincerely optimistic that, uh, that this situation can be resolved and we can solve this case. It just might not happen overnight. Some do and some don't. Although privately, some investigators are getting concerned that they'll never make an arrest. Even though there may be dissension, both the FBI and the police share the same goal, to put the killer behind bars. Judy Miller, 7 News.